Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to the video guide on the Dometic CRX0050 model of fridge freezer. Now that may sound confusing, but don't worry, this will apply to any model of Dometic 12 volt compressor fridge freezer that features this control panel you see here just on the inside left of the doorway. Now I'm gonna try and position this camera somewhere so we can get a decent view, there we go. So with this control panel here, we turn the fridge freezer on and off using this power button here, and we hold that in and everything should come to life. There we go, you'll see a lights test initially like that, and then we should be set with two lights remaining. One above the power button here, and one above the thermometer button right here now the thermometer button allows us to choose the level of cooling so the um, further down we go between the small um, the small snowflake here and the large snowflake the colder it's going to get there's four settings there you also see these leds actually get a little bit bigger as it goes down now you just saw that change from amber to blue that light here on the left above the power button when that is amber it means the fridge freezer has reached its target temperature and the compressor will shut off however then if it turns blue the compressor will turn back in and will start cooling the fridge freezer down again so simply put amber means it's at temperature blue means it's cooling down if you see a light appear here next to the warning triangle, that indicates a low leisure battery voltage and may cease operation. And to turn the unit off again, we just press and hold like so until all the lights turn off. Now, of course, depending on your installation in your vehicle, you may have a separate master switch to turn on and off or shut on and off the power to your fridge freezer. But if you don't, there's a chance that your fridge freezer could be hardwired to your leisure battery, in which case it's advised that you make sure you turn your fridge freezer off when you do not need it to save leisure battery power or to prevent it running flat. Now, the last feature on this particular model is the vent control here. If with the door open, we slide this across so it says vent right here. When we gently close the door again, it stays locked ajar, allowing the fridge freezer to vent and not go horrible and smelly when it's not in use. And to return, we simply open the door again, slide the control back across and we can close the fridge freezer properly. So there we go. That about wraps up the guide today. I'm Sev. I hope this video has been useful and informative for you. And thank you very much for watching.